So there's a hot air balloon which is moving up with a certain velocity. Let's say this is our. It's moving up with a velocity of twelve meters per second, and it is eighty meters above the ground level. So let's say this is the ground level. This is at zero meter mark. And this is at 80 meter mark, and, and and a packet is dropped from the side of it, which drops to the ground. So what they're asking is, how long does it take for the package to reach the ground? So we'll use the equation y minus y naught is equal to the initial velocity of the package plus half a t squared. Now you see the final position y becomes zero, and its initial position is plus 80 meters. Anything in the positive direction is positive, and anything measured in the negative direction is negative. So the equation would look something like this: zero minus 80 is equal to v naught. Now you see its initial velocity of the packet is also it's going down but its initial velocity is also the same as that of the hot air balloon which is 12 meters per second so we substitute the initial velocity of the package as plus 12 meters per second and t is what we have to calculate plus half the force of gravity is acting in the negative direction and therefore, it will be negative. G would be negative. And put this as half minus 9.8 meters per second square into T square. And if you solve for T, what you get is T equals 5.45 seconds. Now, this is part A of the problem. Part B of the problem is, what is the speed at which it hits the ground? So, we use the equation, final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus AT. Again, final velocity V is equal to its initial velocity, which was 12 meters per second. Plus A here is G with a negative sign because it's acting in the downward direction into the time which we've calculated is at 5.45 seconds and this equals minus 41.38 meters per second and you would observe that the velocity is coming out negative which essentially means that the bag is hitting the ground in this direction, therefore, the final velocity is in the negative direction and, and, and therefore the negative sign.